Hello everyone and welcome to Pontiac, Michigan and back to Core Monsters. My name is Nick. Today we have a nine truck lineup for you. We are going to be seeing Ash Fire Extinguishers driven by Kinsley Parks, Dog Gone Crazy driven by Todd Yates, Flying High driven by Henry Gibbons, Outlaw Thunder driven by Trip Cassidy, Reckless Red driven by Opal Baxter, Sinful Addiction driven by Keith Johnson, Tonka driven by Phil Butler, Try Me driven by Jack Schroeder, and we're going to see Warlord driven by Axel Weber. Now up first we are going to be seeing Warlord come out for racing. So here we go. It's a good start for him. Kind of easy off the line. Now this is a debut show for him. He is not a rookie by any means, but he is new to us. Good solid pass there for him with a time of 12.096. We'll see how that stands up against the rest of the guys. Here we have Todd Yates coming out in Dog Gone Crazy. Very aggressive looking truck with the way that 3D body is printed. Good, solid lead there for him. Into the corners. It's back on throttle up and over the cars with a time of 11.529, so that will take the lead for Todd Yates there. Now we're going to see Flying High and Henry Gibbons coming out. That 11.5 is a good bar, so something for him to reach for. Good lead, good acceleration down the straight there into the J-hook. Kind of wide turn, gets back on the throttle up and over. 11.128, good pass there for flying high. Now we're going to see Phil Butler in Tonka coming out. This is a new truck for us this season. Very, very nice looking truck. Here we are into the J-hook. Turn getting right back on the power up and over with a time of 11.3. It's not enough to take the lead away from Henry in flying high. Next up, we're seeing Kinsley Parks coming out in Ash Fire Extinguishers. Now, we have seen Kinsley before, but it was not in this truck. This is a new truck this season, and this is her second show with us. Wide turn there in the J hook. Otherwise, it was a beautiful turn. 11.639. I mean, a beautiful pass, not a beautiful turn. It was a wide turn. But a good run there for Kinsley and Ash. Now we're seeing Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction coming out. And queued up and off the line. Good lead. Knows what he wants to do. Gets it in nice and tight. Kind of late back on the power. Truck pushed on him a little bit. It's time of 11.050. So that does take the lead from Henry Gibbons, so new leader Keith Johnson in Sinful Addiction. Now we're gonna see Jack Schroeder coming out and try me. This guy has been very, very competitive in every form of competition here the last season. Very nice turn there for Jack and try me. Beautiful run. Time of 10.445, holy smokes, that was fast. What a great run there for Jack. Next up, Opal Baxter coming out in Reckless Red. High bar to beat with that 10.4. Harsh leave. Truck leaves hard. Now, this is a new chassis after her wreck last season. We'll talk more about that later on. Beautiful pass, though. 10.297. New leader. One truck remaining. Can she hold on to it? But she will have to hold on to it over Trip Cassidy, our reigning racing champion. Can he take the time away from Opal? Good leave. Small wheelie on the lead. Truck has a lot of power in it. Tight turn around the poles. Beautifully done. This is why he's a racing champion. 10.041. He does take the lead away from Opal and Reckless Red. Great run for Trip Cassidy there. Great, I mean, great runs from everybody. But here are our standings with a 10.041 for Outlaw Thunder, a 10.297 for Reckless Red, a 10.445 for Try Me. A uh, 11.050 for Sinful Addiction, an 11.128 for Flying High, an 11.310 for Tonka, an 11.529 for Doggone Crazy, 11.639 for Ash, and a 12.096 for Warlord. Now for the next portion of our show, we're going to be going into freestyle. We're going to be looking at our starting order as follows. Doggone Crazy is going to be going out first, followed by Warlord, then Flying High, and then we're going to see Ash Fire Extinguishers, followed by Tonka, and then Try Me. And then for the last three trucks, we're going to see Outlaw Thunder, Sinful Addiction, and Reckless Red to round out the field. 
All right, now let's get freestyle underway with Todd Yates and Dog Gone Crazy. Coming out looking for his first hit, going straight to the blue lane of cars. Very nice, Sky Willie, on the first hit. Now this season, I do need to bring up, we have a new point system for freestyle. Now last season, remember, we had a 20 was a perfect score. We have added to the points this season. We are now scoring on a 30 system. So you will be seeing higher scores throughout the entire season. Now, so far, this has been a very good run for Todd. Good, solid momentum, not flying through the course, but doing what he needs to do. Keeping the truck together, getting a feel. Keep in mind, this is only his second show. He debuted the truck last season in New Orleans. He wanted to bring the truck out and get his feet wet some more, so he is back, and it's good to see him. I'm excited to see what he's gonna do going forward. Good air there off the middle lane. So he's going to get the truck turned around and he's going down this dirt lane here. 30 seconds remaining in the run. As I said, it's been a very good run. Good momentum. Hasn't really blowed up any. Looks like he's going to go into some donuts here and it's going to get him in trouble. He's up on the side walls. He's unable to bring it back on his side. That's going to be a score of 20 for Todd. Now, as stated, remember, we're scoring on a 30-point system this season. So that is not a perfect score. Now we're seeing Axel Weber coming out in Warlord. As I said in racing, he is not a rookie, but he is new to our series. He does have quite a bit of experience behind the wheel of the truck, but nothing set up as big as we have. So I'm excited to see what he's gonna do and where he's gonna progress and what he's capable of. Very nice, solid hit there. Good control to get the nose to come right back down. It turned around pretty quick. Kind of slow rolls over the middle ramp there. Nothing too spectacular, but a good solid hit. Searching around. Kind of hurting in the momentum department a little bit, in my opinion. He could be a little bit quicker. Not quite keeping pace with what we saw out of Duck on Crazy. But for his first show here on our tour, he's doing a very good job. Wandering around looking for his next hit for a while now, though. We'll go over the racing lane there. Nice hit. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Just kind of keeping the truck together and keeping the flow going, even if it's not a super high pace run. Very nice. Sky Willie, though. I'm just going to, you know, not make comments about momentum because he just said, hey, shut up, man. That was a very nice Sky Willie. Right up over to the big ramp. First person to hit that big ramp. That is going to be the end of the run. Good run for Axel Weber here in Warlord for his debut show here on the tour. So he's going to give you a couple more hits for the fans. Nice wheelie over the white cars there. It's going to be a score of 18 for Axel Weber and Warlord. So it's not enough to take the lead away from Todd Yates in Dog Gone Crazy. Next up, Henry Gibbons coming out and flying high. We saw him last season, very strong competitor. Hadn't had the best of luck getting runs full, but it's been a very, very nice to watch runs every time he's been out. So I would suspect nothing different. Good air over the racing lane there for him. And it whipped right back around, trying to keep the flow up, keep the momentum going. Big Sky Willie there again off the blue cars. That ramp is just set up nicely for these guys. Getting some huge Sky Willies. Looks like he's going for donuts already. And oh my God, it's up and over onto two and on the roof afterwards. That's a score of eight, unfortunately, for Henry Gibbons. Very short run. Next up, Kinsley Parks coming out in Ash Fire Extinguishers. Now, Ash Fire Extinguishers is a new truck for us this season, but this chassis and driver have done one show before. They filled in for Opal Baxter at finals this season where Opal was unable to make the finals. She wanted her truck to be shown. So she had Kinsley fill in and they used this chassis while they were working on Opal's ride. So far, good start for Kinsley. Good air off the middle lane there. She's keeping the flow going, looking around a little bit. She knows what she's headed for. She 
she's definitely got a plan in mind. She's doing a good job. Getting the truck turned right back around. What's she headed for? Looks like she's handed for the ambulance stack. It's up and over, not enough momentum. She's caught on the corner. The truck is actually going to roll over onto its side. She's trying to dig it out, but they're going to call it there. Score 14 for Kinsley and Ash. Unfortunate end there for her. But she'll get that truck fixed up, and we'll see her again later this season. Now we're going to see Phil Butler coming out in Tonka. Nice first hit there. Top three is we've seen only three trucks, so it would be doggone crazy sitting with a 20 on top right now. Good air off the racing lane there. Whipped right back around, looking for the next hit. Hard on the gas down the racing lane, keeping the momentum up. Instead of slow rolling, he's just trying to get down and get to the next hit. Looks like he's going off the racing lane again. Good hit again. Solid hit there off the single car sitting out there in the middle of the floor for him. Huge air off the racing lane there. Very, very nicely done. Kind of has to blow the truck up there as he was headed for the wall, but gets it turned right back around. Huge air off the dirt ramp. Absolutely huge air. Might be the biggest air we've seen in the show so far. 30 seconds remaining for him. Right back to the racing lane. Very, very solid slap, or er, sky with it there, sorry. Looks like he's slowing up here, lining up for a big hit maybe. 10 seconds remaining, what's he doing? He's on the throttle. He's gonna go up and over the ambulance stack very nicely. A lot of setup for how he hit that ramp, but it was still nicely done and I appreciate his effort to do so. I'm gonna put the truck into some donuts here for the fans. They are unfortunately not in time and won't count, but look at him up on two in these donuts. Really keeping really nice truck control here. Bouncing up on two wheels. And he's not going to get out of it early enough, is he? No, he's not. It's up and over onto the roof. Score of 21 for Tonka here today. But what a nice run. Very nice ending with the donuts there for the fans. Now, next up, Jack Schroeder coming out and try me. Very, very strong freestyle truck. Been very, very competitive. Good air there off the racing lane. Coming out hard. Coming out swinging. He wants a win. He's going to go for it. Nice Sky Willie off the racing lane. Gets a turn right back around. Looks like we're going up the dirt lane here. Slow rolls. Nice. Nice air there off of the dirt ramp. Beautifully done. Right back around, really keeping the pedal down, keeping this truck moving. Some of the best momentum we've seen so far. Interesting there how he slowed down before hitting it, but nice little jump into a very nice slap wheelie. So maybe I won't question how he did that. That was beautifully done. Huge air. Monster jump there for Jack and Try Me. go off the big dirt ramp 30 seconds remaining so far this has been an outstanding run big air seen a little bit of everything just needed a wow moment to really really make it pop and there it is huge sky wheelie what an outstanding sky wheelie there that is going to be hard to beat for anybody else lining up at this event so we're going to go up and across the ambulances oh it caught the left rear it's over on its roof awkward awkward hit there for him Ends up rolling back onto the wheels, but time was basically over anyway. Score of 29 for Jack and Try Me. What a fantastic run. Next up, Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. This is our racing champion from last season, but he was unable to get the freestyle championship as well, even with a fantastic run that he put down. So I would suspect that he will be a threat here. Try Me, Tonka, and Doggone Crazy are our top three still. But I would suspect that Tripp will throw down here. He just saw what Jack did in front of him, and he knows he's going to have to really lay it on strong if he wants a chance at that top spot here today. Wants that double down that's so elusive to these drivers. 
So far, very good momentum up and over the ambulance. Hard onto the front end. Awkward bounce. Good save, though. He keeps the truck from going over onto its lid. Very, very nicely done to keep it from rolling. Man, that was awkward, though. Doesn't phase him any, though. He's just going to keep in it and keep going. Keeps the momentum up. Big air off the blue cars. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Seen a lot in this run already. I don't know if it quite matches what we've seen from Trimie. Huge air off of the dirt. Very, very nice. I don't know if it matches Trimie's air, but hard to follow that. Very, very nice hit off the white cars there. Looks like time is going to be coming to an end before this hit, so this hit won't count. Up and over the ambulance, onto the lid, onto the right front. He's not going to be able to save it this time. It is over on the lid. Trip Cassidy with a score of 26 here, so it will not take the lead away from Jack. Next up, we're seeing Keith Johnson coming out in Sinful Addiction. Very tough competitor last season. Coming out, he wants to win. He wants to do well again this season. But it's a lot of season to go. But none of these guys want to start soft. Good solid hit off the middle ramp there. Seen trucks get bigger air. We've also seen trucks get smaller air. So good right in the middle hit. Very nice hit there off the dirt. Kind of lands it awkwardly on the front end though. I'm going to get whip it right back around. Looks like we're going for the racing lane here. Nice hit. Really just keeping the truck flowing and keeping it moving. Hitting anything that's in his way. Hits the single car. Very nicely done. A little bit of a slap really there. Doesn't quite get the slap really he wanted out of it. But he'll accept what he got. It was still nice. Turns the truck around. Going across. Cross threading the racing lanes. Beautifully done. First cross thread we've seen of the day. And he does it very, very nicely. 30 seconds remaining. Keeps it going. Continues. Keeps the momentum up. Not scared to hit anything in front of him. Very nice. Sky with over the ambulance. But gets caught up on the ambulance. He's able to dig it out. That ambulance is pretty well destroyed for anybody following. But he is not going to care about that. That was very beautifully done. Nice air over the blue cars. That's going to be time for this run as he gets it turned around. Again, more hits for the fans. Going to roll it to a stop here. Score of 27, so it's not enough to take the win. But it will be enough to place him in the number two spot so far. Next up, Opal Baxter coming out in Reckless Red. It's good to see her back. Very nice start for her. Big air. Looks like last season's not going to face her any. She's just going to come out swinging. Now, like I said, it's good to see her back. This is a new chassis for her. After her wreck in Stafford last season, they decided that the chassis was unrepairable, and they decided they were going to build a new truck. So they did that. That's why she missed a couple of events towards the end of the season and had Kinsley fill in for her at finals while she was recovering and her new chassis was being built. So it is very good to see her back. It's so far exciting to see what this chassis is going to be capable of. It did very well in racing, and so far she is throwing down an outstanding freestyle run. No fear in her heart at all. She is out here to win. Huge air. Beautifully done. You know, it was a hit like that last season that caused her crash, and she just going right back for it. 30 seconds remaining here on this run for her. And here we go. She is just absolutely throwing down. 15 seconds remaining, looking for a next hit. Her momentum has been outstanding. Her hits have been strong up and over the ambulance. Hard on the right front, but the truck takes it. Like she's going to whip it around, maybe into some donuts here for the end of the run. Looks like, yes, it is. Struggles a little bit to get into them, but she is going to get them, and they will count for time, so whatever happens, happens. Beautiful, beautiful set of donuts once she got into them, and I think that might be the first truck to not roll over. Score of 27 for her, so not enough for the win. Well, after nine trucks, our standings are as follows. 
the win will be going to Try Me with a score of 29. Then Sinful Addiction and Reckless Red coming in right behind with a score of 27. Outlaw Thunder with a score of 26. Tonka with a score of 21. Dog Gone Crazy with a score of 20. Warlord with a score of 18. Ash with a score of 14. And Flying High with a score of 8. This was a very exciting freestyle show. We saw a lot of carnage, a lot of good, wild moments. Guys, I hope to see y'all next week. That's the end of this show. We will be at Minneapolis, Minnesota next week. Please join us. We'll see you then.